Good morning. Welcome back to Breakfast Television. We're telling you earlier in the news pack, of course, about a scary, very, very scary virus that's actually hitting some computers around the world. I don't know if it's come here to Toronto, but tell us a little bit about how we can protect it. Now we have Winston C. joining us here this morning. Good morning. Yeah, so the virus is called Reagan. Um, it's, a, it's, it's this super spyware, and they've been saying it's been around for years. Uh, Symantec, the, uh, the parent company of Norton, uh, announced this in a report. And what's really interesting is it's, it's been around for years. How did it take so long for them to discover that right. this has been a thing? Well, these these are, are these the, this software and, and malware is has become so complex and sophisticated. Uh, th this one specifically uh, targets your passwords, your your screenshots, and uh, e even things that you're doing on your computer and, and what software you've downloaded. Right. And uh, it, it's often downloaded through other bloatware that you're downloaded so that you've downloaded. So uh, right. attachments, opening attachments. Attachments, potentially uh, downloading a browser or downloading something new may come with additional software. Mm -hmm. and, and when loading that on your computer, you're loading all of this extra software that you don't even know is there. So uh, it's, it's causing a lot of concern because it could be on a lot of computers and around the world. And you don't even know. And you don't even know. Exactly. So how do you know that it's on your computer? Yeah. Well, first of all, if you're complaining your computer's really slow, chances are there's a lot on your computer that you probably don't know. So it's a good idea to, to every once in a while go through your computer, see what's there. Yeah. And if it looks like there's a lot of mysterious material in your computer, it's not a bad idea to take your photos and all of the data you actually do want, yeah. wipe your computer clean, and uh, reload uh, everything on your computer. Right. There are a few other options as well. LastPass, so because this targets your passwords and screenshots, yeah. it's, it's taking all of your key logs, so what you're putting into your computer. Right. So uh, instead of, uh, in, uh, LastPass is a great tool because instead of typing in your passwords, you've already stored your passwords on right. here and using one master uh, uh, encryption key, yeah. you're actually loading all of this, uh, you're loading passwords in without telling your Every computer. Every time it just kind of loads automatically. Absolutely. Auto yeah. One other thing to think about too is all of your all of your devices. So yeah. uh, Norton has, uh, this is an example of one, there are many companies out there, uh, Norton has uh, a 360 type uh, uh, encryption service, a uh, security service that protects both laptop, tablet, and mobile. So it's important to remember it doesn't just affect your computers, it affects all of your devices. Absolutely. And you know what? If you're online and you're taking a look at some uh, ads that you have to actually see, you have no choice really, but yeah. I know that you're looking at a website and those ads, whether they pop up or they're on the side, it's the pop ups that get me. Yeah, it's got to sure. be one of the most uh, complained about things. It's uh, the advertisements online. Yeah. Well, Google is experimenting with a new idea where uh, you can, uh, where Google will block ads for you. There have been uh, plugins that you can install on your computer. They're kind of back-end plugins right. that get rid of all the ads on your computer. Right. Uh, but Google is exp exploring this where you pay a, a monthly fee, they get rid of all of your ads. Would you pay for this? I would definitely. It depends on the price. Yeah. So once they actually, if they were to roll that out, if All it was a decent price everything. per month, I think I would actually pay for it because it is quite annoying to have to actually sift and yeah. filter through all of that before you get to what you want to read. Yeah, and people are still making money off because you you are paying exactly. and they're making revenue off of it. Exactly. Um, but uh, uh, but you are getting rid of the ad, so you're having that improved user experience. I'm sure some will pay for it. Right. Okay. Perfect. Thanks so much, Winston. Thanks. Appreciate it. We're going to head up to Russ now with a look at traffic.